Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to demonstrate step by step a gorgeous spring look that is easy to create as well as pull off. Create a nice clean base and a long lasting makeup. Skin prep is really important. To prep my under eyes, I am using Dot & Key Deep Puffing Eye Cream. As our under eye is delicate and generally we go for most coverage there, it is really essential to prep it well. Next, I am spritzing my face with back toner and applying Dot & Key Vitamin C Moisturizer uh, as my base. I am applying Lotus Lip Balm on my lips so that when I am going for uh, some liquid lipstick, my lips become softer. For priming my face, I am using Sugar Pore Minimizing Primer. This will minimize the appearance of pores and make my skin smoother and matte. I am blending the primer uh, and pressing it into my skin rather than dragging it all over my face. I am pouring Nykaa Skin Genius Foundation on a palette and dotting it all over my face for even application. I am blending it with my Real Technique sponge and I am not taking a lot of foundation so that my face do not look cakey as this foundation is uh, a very matte foundation it is very easily going to look cakey next to conceal my dark under eyes i am using pure beige shade from la girl pro concealer this shade has a peachy undertone that hides dark circles really well using the same concealer i am concealing around my mouth and nose where i have some darkness <laughs> Highlighting, I am placing a lighter concealer strategically on my cheekbones and under eyes. Here I am using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and blending it out with a concealer brush. And please remember to use very less amount of product. I am setting my under eyes and my face very lightly uh, using Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and I am dabbing out the excess powder from the sponge on the back of my hand. I am giving my face a little bit of structure using Sugar 3 in 1 palette. I am contouring my cheekbones, jawline and nose. The brush I am using is a fan brush from Real Technique and I really love the result of this brush. <laughs> Then for priming my eyelids, I am using the concealer from Maybelline in the lightest shade for the eyeshadow coming up next. Today I am using Makeup Revolution Creative Volume 1 palette. At first I am applying a light brown color on my crease almost as if I am contouring my eye. Next I am applying a matte purple shadow at the outer corner of my eyelids and then a shimmery sky blue color at the inner corner and blending the two color. It's a really really easy eye look and even the beginners can do it. Just main key is blending. Just blend the two colors and it's just done. I actually tried matching my grays uh, with the eyeshadows. But if you want, you can change the colors according to your dress. Then I am lining my eyes uh, with a kajal and an angle brush. And then brushing my um, eyebrows up and filling them lightly with the black color that was available on the palette. After highlighting my inner corners using the sugar palette, I am lightly blushing up my cheekbones on the higher side. I am using the color from the sugar palette only. 
and I'm trying to keep the color on the high part of my zippon and I'm dusting off the excess part of the glass as the sugar glass is really really pigmented. Next I am lining my lips with mix Bit caviar and filling it in with Breveto lipstick from Sugar Wonder Woman collection. Next I am using Elf liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade Ocean Eyes for some sparkle. I added the glitters at the last because I thought something was missing on the eye spot. And as you can see this glitter has made the look really beautiful. So this is my final look guys, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and I hope you have learned something new from this video, uh, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and bye, I will see you in my next video.